The El Gossi release notes are finally here, and there are some things that we desperately need to talk about, so let's get into it. Well, I went over most of the details that are releasing with El Gossia and Kyengel, the Abyssal Dungeon, in my last video, so go check that out. But we are also getting the Balthor Raid event when this event, Guardian event, ends, which of course is gonna have extra things that you can unlock, more honing mats that are free, legendary card packs, Fions, etc. And I like the fact that there's cosmetics. I always like the cosmetics in these events. I really do. I think it gives it more of a purpose than just honing. And of course, honing is a pretty good reason to do these events, but what I really, really enjoy when an event comes to Lost Ark is that you can get these by completing Chaos Dungeons or Guardian Raids. So you don't actually have to spend a lot of time doing extra stuff like the actual event to get the tokens to actually buy the extra materials, the extra cosmetics, all that good stuff. We also knew that the Fortune Spire is releasing the last 25 levels as well. I actually just made a video on that on the rewards. You are not going to want to skip out on doing those. With the Kyengel and El Gossier release, we're now able to get the materials to upgrade our relic ability stones to the ancient level by going through Kyengel, getting a certain material, and leveling them up in that process. So this just kind of describes that. I'll let you read that on your own if you want to. They have finally increased the items that you can post per day in the market and auction house from 20 to 40. This is one of many things that they could change to just make the overall game experience day to day of Lost Ark much better. Now let's get in to the juicy stuff, okay? This is what we really came here for, the summer skins. Let's go ahead, take a little look-see. Okay, let's pause. ATK, get out of here. All right, these are the fighter skins. Male fighter, I don't know what that is. If you rock that, automatic gatekeep. I'm not taking you into my party. I'm not doing it. Unless you somehow work it in to some other outfits, I'm not taking this goofy, towel-headed, rubber-ducky-looking goofball into my party. I just can't take you seriously. Some people, they might automatically accept you, but someone like me, I'm gonna automatically deny you, okay? But these fighter skins look great. I, I honestly, I like this one. I like this one, and I really like this one. I feel like this one could be cool, but there's just so much going on, you know? Like, we, we have the these things, we have the top, we have the bottom, then we have these strings, then we have these strings over here on the arm, then we got the hat, We got, like, there's just so much. These are more simple, which, of course, I like the simplicity, and you could probably put some cool Godai combinations between these. I'm wondering if the long sleeve shirt is a part of the top, like you can't remove it, or if it's just like an accessory that you can put on top, but I like that it's gonna be an ice cream cone for the Glavier. I, I think that that's kind of cute. I like it. I'm probably gonna be buying this weapon skin for sure. The warrior skins are okay. They're kind of cool. Again, I, what is this? I, all right, whatever. You know, do you. We're looking at the Slayer skin, okay? Let's be honest. This is, the, this is the one that we're interested in. We need more Slayer skins. And, I mean, I really like this skin. I think it's cool. It looks like a two-piece, of course. So you can use this other, this bottom with another top or whatever, which I like the ability to customize those pieces. But look, look at the lats. Look at the lats going on right now. She like she's packing. She look, look, look at the, she's packing some heat right here. She she's been working out. Okay, I respect it. I respect it a lot. You gotta have a lot of muscle swinging that big ass sword all the time. So you know what? Kudos. Okay, I love it. And we're also getting this style swimsuit for the Slayer. I like these swords. I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna buy this watermelon sword. Most of this summer weapons I didn't really like. I think they're kind of goofy looking, but this one is kind of fun and uh, I really do like it. I like the little like neon sketch around it and stuff. I, I think that's cool. I really wish that Slayer gets a style like this, like a casual dress. I really wish she would get something like this. I don't know if she is getting this style or not, but I'm just saying. Okay, what is the deal? What? Why are they showing artist's feet right now? What? What is? They just showing off the details of the heels? I, I don't know, man. This, this is getting a little weird. I like this. I'm definitely gonna be getting one of these as well for the mount and these five little froggy dudes. I don't know which one I'm gonna get yet. I didn't get the pirate star last year, so I'm probably gonna get the pirate one. I think. 
but I'm definitely going to be buying the pack when it comes out because I want the wallpaper, okay? And I'm sure that the wallpaper comes with a little dude, a mount, and a swimsuit of your choice. So I'm definitely going to be buying that package. So really, the big question is, at the end of the day, what are you most excited for with this update tomorrow? And more specifically, what swimsuit are you more excited? excited for are you rocking a male fighter with a goofy tied up towel on his head with a rubber ducky are you rocking a slayer are you rocking a female fighter let me know down in the comments which skin you are most excited for or maybe it's just the wallpaper maybe you're a wallpaper collector either way let me know down in the comments below and like the freaking video consider subscribing to the channel and joining the discord we have an awesome positive community just growing and growing every day our end of the year goal is actually 10,000 subs and i know that we can do that with your help i hope to see you in there and if not i'm still gonna see you on the next video